Hello, Grantronic4 here, and today we'll be playing a game called Battle Hunter. Now, this game was released around 2001, and I picked up this game in a bargain bin back when I was about 12 years old. Uh, that would have been 2002. When I looked on the back of the uh, game case, I was like, oh my god, this looks kind of like Final Fantasy Tactics. It's a, it's a strategy RPG. And I want to play another one, because I love strategy RPGs. So I ran, ran to my parents, I'm like, oh, can I have this? The game was only 10 bucks, so they're like, okay, we'll get you this. Don't ask for anything else. <laughs> so I got the game, I came home, rushed to my PlayStation and put it in, and I was like, I can't wait to play this game, this game's gonna be sick. So I put it in, turned it on, a little Battle Hunter title screen comes on, I'm like, oh yeah, this is gonna be great. I get into it, it's cool, you can create your own character and all that stuff, and then, boom. This is, this is not what I was expecting. This is much different. But it's actually a little bit fun. It kinda grew on me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys Battle Hunter. And I guarantee most of you have not heard of this game. It's, uh, I think it's recently, became available on the PlayStation Network for $5.99, I believe. I don't know if it's on for PlayStation 4, but it is on the PlayStation Classics for the PlayStation 3, um, where you can play it there. Um, if there's any update that it is for PlayStation 4 or the Vita, let me know. Um, most likely the Vita, you'd probably be able to play it for the Vita. But let's get into it. I want to show you guys this game. Not many people know about it, and it's pretty fun. I will say the game is somewhat low budget. This is what you get from a, a company like this. It was made by Success and published by A1 Games. It's You can tell it's low budget. It's, there's a reason why it was in the bargain bin. But here we go. Let's get into this. Let's have some fun with Battle Hunter. So here we are. We're in the start menu where it says The Hunter AR62. I can't remember what that meant, but let's get into this. So we gotta make a character, so let's make a new character. I'll be Grant 4. No. Here we go. Um, so you see I'm putting stats on my character, which is kind of cool. Um, the move is somewhat, all these are pretty important. I try to make it somewhat even all the way through. Um, let's see, who should I be, who should I be? Probably this guy. Nice goggles. Grant 4, we got a character. So, let's go to this briefcase where we accept a mission. Hey you! What do you want? This guy kind of looks like Steven Seagal's druggy brother. Let's get a mission, mission information. So, you of a rookie, I'll teach you what you need to know. A hunter's job is to find things, locate lost items, and such. If you are not doing a job, go explore the dungeon. In there you can find things of value. If you find something, bring it back. I just like I just like how they took huge font for the talking instead of just putting smaller font so you can read it better. To me, and I will reward you. I don't have any jobs for you. Go explore the dungeon for now. I'm the man you should talk to. <laughs> That'd be awesome if that's actually how he talked. I will show you where you need to go. Have a fun day. 
I like sunglasses and Hawaiian shirts. First job for a rookie is da 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 da. The periods are like in the middle instead of by the bottom of the S, so weird font. Find this metal. So a rock looking metal thing. Go take care of your business. I don't have to take a poop, but okay. So we're going into the dungeon. As you can tell, there's a bunch of boxes scattered everywhere. So in one of those boxes is that metal we want. Um, you can see there's a bunch of cards and stuff. There's all this stuff on the top menu. That's move, attack, rest, that cures your HP. Um, and basically this game kind of plays like a board game. Um, these green things right here are traps. This is an empty trap. Leg trap, so it makes you have zero movement. These are defense cards, so I don't want to waste anything. I'm just going to click this X here. Oh great, I just got two. Man, that's helpful. So hopefully none of these other people uh, get the item I want. This is, uh, it's got some sweet tunes, by the way, too. Some 80s BGM rock. It's my turn again. And I'll just use this empty trap, get it out of here so I can get a new card. Oh. So let's see, what's in the box? Drum roll. Yep, first box. First box, I get it. So, that was a breeze. And one problem I have with this, this game is that you can't look around the map. Um, so that's why you have to memorize the map right at the beginning when it's going all over the place. They don't really tell you that um, when you first start the game. I would get a six movement when I want to get some stuff. So let's see, what's everybody's names here? Sardosa? Puar Puarden. Puarden. Interesting. Azabar. Azabar. I don't know if I'm pronouncing those correctly. Those are interesting names. Let's get this bonus here. Little flags are bonus. So I just got a times six bonus to my defense, I think. It's the same color as defensive cards, which are the yellow ones. And as you notice, it doesn't really tell you what the story is right off the bat, it just tells you what you are. Go get shit. Bring it back to the dude that looks like Steven Seagal's druggy brother. Who wears wine shirts. Bring it back to him. And I do like that there's like floppy disks that you can get. And like old school items that are not in use anymore and probably most kids don't know don't even know what they are. So as you oh right here you can see a battle. Here comes a battle, she's uh, using defense. And these like enemies randomly spawn. Those, those uh, little green things. So I'll just set this like trap, get that out of here. Oh I got two. So I'm moving extr oh go back this way. I am moving extremely slow right now. It's not cool. Not cool. Looks like they're all running towards me. I wish I could get one of those blue cards, those movement cards, and pretty nice when I want to get out of here so I don't get attacked by any of these people. So as you can tell, this plays like a board game. The cards are kind of like dice. Oh, here we go, movement plus one. So I just keep getting awesome twos. That's just fantastic. Oh boy. Pwarden's on his way to get me. Look at Look at Pwarden go. Go Pwarden. Nazabar. Nice mohawk. Go take my victory lap here. I got a one. See in the top right, that's the deck of cards that are in use. If that goes to zero, a boss comes out. So hopefully we don't have to see that because that uh, usually die every time. You're still alive. Okay, I will buy the target item. Other items are depending on you. Either sell or keep the Some items will aid you your missions. First, you need to identify them. Then, if you wish, I will buy them from you. So I made 
250 credit. I have a floppy. So let's go back here and he said he would identify them. Let's identify an item. 50 credit. So it's a disc. It should be called floppy disc. It's what, exactly what it is. BG6. I wonder what's on BG6. And a good thing here is you want to sell. So I'm going to sell this. And the reason you want to sell is because the way you can level up on this strange place with the strange music. And I need a thousand cred. I don't have a thousand cred. Mission time. I have a hot mission. Ooh, hot. Do you want to try it? Well, I guess this is... I don't know. This is a tough decision. I don't want some spicy mission here. That's the spirit. Okay, let's talk business. Go. And find this. So here we go. Mission two. Lots of boxes. New song. Different tiles. So as you, you can already tell that I was probably like when I first started playing. <laughs> there I go. Another one. This is nothing like I expected it. It looked a lot different on the the, the back of the disc or back of the disc case. And this is what I got. A book, maybe? Oh shit. Okay, shitty stuff like that. Friggin' Master Chief down there got it. Oh, I gotta read these names here. Matil Ikilium is our Laru. Is all Laru. Nifty names. Finally got something. I don't think I'll be able to catch this guy. It's probably been gonna be a quick game over. Please don't be a game over. Gotta use my movement cards. Gotta get down there to get Master Chief. No! I did not notice that he set a trap for me. And... Came in second, at least. I will accept. I guess this one's not as hot as the other one. I'm gonna get a dress, blue dress. Get to the exit. Oh, give him a leg trap. Yeah, it's over. Get some. Come on, chase me. Dare ya. Wow. That was a lot of intelligence there. Even if this was trying to be realistic, which it isn't. But I was right in front of him. I set a trap. As if he wouldn't see that. What are you doing? I'm just putting stuff on the ground. Doing nothing. Nothing weird here. Boom. Victory. No one came close to my score. 6,965. Rocking it. So let's see. I have enough credit to level up. So let's go do that. Probably just gonna waste it on trying to get the movement up. Because as you can tell, the annoyance of this game is that you always get crap cards, so I can never move. So you want to get that up. If you ever play this game, just, just go to the move. 146. So hopefully I have enough money to identify 100. Oh, dude, the universe. This book is the universe. The universe. The universe, universe. Ooh, I have a client. Oh, 
Oh look, it's the, the hospital strange lady with blue hair. Oh, you are the hunter assigned for this mission. I need you to find a missing person. He was a patient that suddenly disappeared from the hospital. This is the person. He has not fully recovered yet. The only information I have for you is that he was last seen in the dungeon. We have no idea if he is still alive or not. They could have just stopped that. We don't know if he's still alive. Please find him and bring him back to me. So this is one of the rescue missions. This is gonna be something interesting here. We'll see how close I am to the dude. I did not, I wasn't paying attention, I did not see him. Oh, there he is. Oh god. So, the quickest mission ever. Done. I <laughs> finished that mission in like two seconds here. So that's another flaw of this game. Well done! You found him. Thank you very much. By the way, why did you try to escape from the hospital? Really? Really? That's the most creative thing I have ever seen as a response. So creative. Now we gotta get this book. All I know is that it's not the universe. Here comes the boss. This is crap. I've been trapped in this corner this whole time. We're all left. Mission then, no money. Oh. So basically, you get effed if you die. So that was the game. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Battle Hunter, very interesting game. Um, if you like it, go pick it up on the PlayStation Network or get an actual copy on eBay or Amazon or something like that and play it out. Um, the game has some pretty tough missions as you go further. 
sometimes near impossible because of the way it randomizes and, and spawns things. But it's, it was definitely a different game that no one knows about and I thought it'd be cool to, to play it. Even though the experience when I first played it was a little like, this isn't the game I thought it would be. So all the games that A1 put out that year weren't very good. I bought two of them, I bought Tennis, yes, very creative name, and Battle Hunter, which I did have some fun with Battle Hunter. Uh, I could play it with friends. Um, you all have to use the same controller though, which is kind of annoying, but it is multiplayer. And it's like a board game, playing with friends. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you want to get any uh, more updates on the channel, I'll be on Twitter. I'm going to be doing a collab soon. Um, stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys have a good 4th of July. And I will see you guys next week. Have a great day.